Hi everybody, it's Nikki. Sunday is Mother's Day, so I thought I'd give you guys a couple different gift ideas for that special mother figure in your life. We're going to start off with a recipe and have a couple different craft ideas. So today we're going to be making cinnamon roll casserole. You're going to need two cans of cinnamon rolls. Mine are thawed, not frozen. One cup of milk of your choice. I have almond milk. Three tablespoons of sugar. Four eggs. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. A half teaspoon of ground nutmeg and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. First, you're going to preheat the oven to 375. Then we're going to open up the cinnamon rolls. This is the fun part when it pops. There we go. Okay. You can do one can at a time. I'm going to keep the cream cheese frosting for later. And I'm simply taking one cinnamon roll and I'm going to cut it into fours. So you're going to quarter them. All of this is explained in the recipe card attached. We've got the one done. Put a little cooking spray on your baking sheet pan and drop these cinnamon rolls all over. Kind of spread them out a bit. Now we're going to do the second can. Get that open. Give it a good whack. Put the frosting to the side. Thought, why not make something so mom can have breakfast in bed? This is a perfect little recipe. With not that many instructions as well. Okay, gonna put those in the dish as well. If your cinnamon rolls are frozen, you're gonna combine everything and refrigerate this overnight so the cinnamon rolls can thaw, but since ours mine are already thawed, I'm just gonna make it right away. Okay, now that you've cut up all the cinnamon rolls, we're gonna combine the rest of our ingredients and mix them together. So, we've got our four eggs. One, two, three, Four, one cup of milk, and like I said, you can use any milk. I chose almond. Three tablespoons of sugar. One, two, three. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. A half teaspoon of cinnamon. And a half teaspoon of nutmeg. Can do a little bit less of the nutmeg if you think it's too overpowering. All right, now we're gonna mix. Can you mix along with me? All right. Gonna do that. Start to see little bubbles. Okay. 
Now we just pour that right over the cinnamon rolls. If you wanted, you could also add fruit to this, like apples or blueberries. You could also just top it once it's done baking. So those are the final steps. We're gonna put it in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes, and let's move on to the next gift idea. So while the cinnamon rolls are baking in the oven, we're gonna move on to the next gift idea, which is making some flowers out of an egg carton. Some materials you're going to need besides the egg carton are, I'm using watercolors. You can use markers, crayons, paint, anything to decorate the flowers with. Using straws as the stems, but any kind of stick you have at home, a pipe cleaner, um, really anything to just kind of make the stem. I'm using tape, but you can also use glue to connect the two pieces, and then scissors to cut the egg carton. All right, here we go. So first we're gonna cut away the extra pieces of the egg carton that we don't need. So that's gonna be really the edge pieces. We just want the part that holds the eggs. And then we're gonna create three flowers out of the uh, 12 holes that we, pieces that we have. So each is gonna have four petals. So just cut across here and here to make your three flowers. And it's okay if it's kind of rough around the edges. We will round it out a bit. Okay, so here's what it'll look like. You can even cut down what would be the middle of the flower. Now just make it a little prettier. So that it looks nice and round. Okay, so we're gonna do that two more times. And start thinking about what colors you wanna to use to decorate the flowers with. It could be your mom's favorite colors or some colors you would see on a flower, spring. And my last one. And if you have more than one egg carton at home, you can make a couple more flowers. Okay. Mine are all cut. Now it's on to the decorating. So like I said, I have watercolors, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little water to it and just paint the inside. You can mix a couple colors together, do it all one color, whatever you would like and what you think your mom would enjoy. Okay, so once your flowers are all decorated, now we're gonna attach them to the stem. I used straws, so you just find a spot on the back, tape it across, make sure it's nice and secure. To make a bouquet, I went ahead and taped the bottom, find a pretty vase, and there you have it. All right, now on to our last gift idea. So the final gift we're going to create is the lavender sugar scrub. You're going to need two cups of sugar, a half a cup of coconut oil, and then I'm using essential oils to create the scent. So I'm gonna use the lavender, 
And then for an added texture, I actually have dried lavender flowers. So I'm gonna add that into my scrub, but it's okay if you don't have that. So the first step is combining the sugar and the coconut oil. We're gonna mix it together. So two cups of sugar. half a cup of coconut oil. I'm just using a fork to mix it all together. All right, let's mix that together. You're gonna wanna use closer to two cups because the sugar will dissolve a little bit once it's all combined. Okay. We hope this is a nice way for moms to relax. Lavender is a calming scent. Once you feel like it's all mixed together, it should get a little stiff. And then we're going to add in the essential oil. If you have other scents, you could also add that. I have blood orange and eucalyptus, but I'm just gonna stick to lavender today. Okay. the lavender we're going to use 15 to 20 drops see if you can count along with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifty an extra for good luck and then for the lavender flowers I'm going to add three tablespoons. You could also add some food coloring to change the color of the sugar syrup. Okay, let's mix that all together, but not too much. You don't want to overmix it. an amazing jar. The important thing is that the container you're using is an airtight container. So once you scoop that all in there, a quick and easy Mother's Day gift, we can relax. All right, let's put all of our gifts together. All right, there you have it. There are three different gift ideas for Mother's Day. Attached to the video, you'll find links to instructions how to create all these gifts, along with some templates to create Mother's Day cards. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there.